Hello everybody, LJ again. This is the final video of the few that I recorded in the same day. So, there is no backstory to this guy. And I'll explain why there's no backstory to this guy. This guy has no backstory. And yet again, I'll explain why. Because there are a lot of characters that someone can create. Even Gears of War and the company, the, the writers, there's only so many characters you can write stories for before some of them start sounding similar. So, I thought I would take the off chance by creating someone no one ever really got to know. There's no name, there's no place of origin, purpose. This is just a soldier in some armour holding a hammer of dawn. And that's it. So I, uh, for yet again, from Captain Firebeard Baker, he sorted me out with two McFarlane Marcus bodies. One of which was for this purpose. And the other one was, uh, as we all heard and know, uh, Netflix is doing a Gears of War movie. And as we all know and have known for years, Dave Bautista is really petitioning and fighting for the role of Marcus Phoenix. Now, we're not going to have a discussion on whether or not he'll be a good Marcus Phoenix or not, because that's just a whole topic I don't want to get into. However, we did get a Batista version of Marcus Phoenix in the game. A playable version online, but also for the story. So what I wanted to do with one of the two figures I got was make a soldier, but make a movie variant of Batista Marcus and this is what I've got it's the exact same figure it's the exact same like sculpting as you can see by everything all I did was repaint this one completely silver to make him look different and I really like how this silver turned out and then with this one I just dry brushed metal in places to give the weathered look. But you know. Just standard cog soldier. So yeah. So I just thought this was yet again. Very quick customs. I didn't have to work on a really huge backstory. We already know who Marcus is. So I don't need to make a backstory. Just because Batista's playing him. And then just a soldier that you know. Is a faceless man in a helmet. Fighting for Sarah. You know. Because there's lots of characters. That we don't get to know about. There's lots of characters that don't get their names and stories told. So he's just soldier in the background. That's who he is. That was the whole point of this custom. And it's the same armor that Storm Collectibles used for their Marcus. Um, so, you know, here's my Sergeant Ball that I used from the Storm Marcus body. So the armor is all kind of similar and stuff, but the different paint works really help sell the individuality of each custom. Uh, which I like. Like even with here. These trousers are more slightly greyer. Than these ones. These are more like a mid grey. And then these are, I painted a bit darker. So despite the fact that it's all based on the same kind of armour. There's different paints in each. Even the boots are different. Um, I said painted the torso and everything different. So it's nice how we can get these kind of figures. And then make them look somewhat different. Just because of a paint job. But yeah, these are all the custom videos that I've done recently. I can't think of any more that I was supposed to show. And if I do and if I create more, you will see it soon. Mostly on my Instagram. Have a great weekend. Take care. It was fun doing these again. Probably won't do them again for another year. But <laughs> hope you enjoy them. Bye for now.